Hello everyone, this is João from KenHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time we're going to be talking about the basal view of the brain. Essentially what we're going to be doing here on this tutorial is looking at the structures that can be seen when we look at the brain from an inferior aspect or the base of the brain like you're seeing right now on the this image on the screen. We will be highlighting and discussing the structures that are identifiable from this aspect and also talk a bit about their function. Before we start describing the several structures that we see in this basal view of the brain, just for orientation purposes, I want to show you that in the base of the brain, we see also these structures that I just added here. The yellow structures are then the cranial nerves, but we also see here the cerebellum, which is the structure here. And you also see here this structure, which is then the brain stem. Now this area of the brain is then protected by bone, specifically the base of the skull, as you can see here on this image on the right side. So the most anterior portion of the brain, which is this part here, will be then located in this area of the base of the skull, which is known as the anterior cranial fossa. Then you see here that the temporal lobes are going to be located in these or in this area, which is known as the middle cranial fossa. And then on this area, you can see that this structure will fit in perfectly. So you can see that the cerebellum is going to be found on the posterior cranial fossa. So you can see that the base of the skull is perfect because it will allow the brain to really be accommodated. Now we're going to remove the cerebellum and the brain stem to then be left with just the structures that we find on the basal view of the brain. And right now we're looking at the first highlight, the first structure that we're going to be talking about, which is the longitudinal cerebral fissure. Now this structure is very prominent and clearly definable, and it is also known as the median longitudinal fissure. This deep groove separates the two hemispheres of the brain. In the depth of the longitudinal fissure lies the corpus callosum, which you can see a little bit here. And inside the fissure is then located the false cerebri. So one structure we can see here is then one that I already mentioned on the previous slide. This is the genome of the corpus callosum. So when we pull apart the longitudinal cerebral fissure, as you can see here on this image with this tool, we do so at the frontal lobe, then we can see the corpus callosum from the inferior view of the brain, specifically the genome of the corpus callosum, seen here highlighted in green. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.